Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I will be doing an unboxing for Bolt Actions, the Stuk 3D for by Warlord Games. Okay guys, let's take a quick look at the uh, front art for a second. I do like who they ever get to do these sort of pa uh, paint jobs for them. Um, there is the actual tank itself, or oh, tank destroyer. Okay, this was used in the early slash like, well, I believe it was France, it was actually when it was actually properly brought in. There is the instructions on how to build it. Let's have a quick... Actually, let me put this down and let me zoom in. Let me tighten this up, sorry guys. Actually, I think I'm going to have to come out a little bit more. Okay, let's leave that there. Though overshadowed by the headlined... Who, uh, hopping... Big cats such as the panther and tiger, the Stumadragon, Stumen, oh, I can't pronounce that, sorry guys, assault guns were quite possibly the biggest success story in terms of the Germans' armoured vehicles. Serving on the German front, on all German fronts, and also with Finnish forces, the Stugs collectively destroyed more tanks than their feline cousins. Claiming to have knocked out over 20,000 tanks by 1944. Built on the previous Panzer III sash, se, uh, body, basically, I can't bloody pronounce it for some weird reason, the Stug 3... the Stug 3D <laughs> had a low silhouette making it difficult to target and easy to disguise with camouflage. It was armed with a 75 37L-24 cannon, which was high, uh, whilst highly explosive shells were making short work of enemy positions as well as armour. Assault gun crews were a part of the artillery rather than the panzer divisions. The crew were would be dressed in field grey uniforms as as the main in the main as the result. This model is also good to be used as the C variant as the differences were pro uh, mostly inside. Okay, but I've read that last bit with not properly but it means the same thing. Okay, so let's have a quick look what you get inside. Oh, I'm quite liking what I'm seeing here. Okay, so we've got this little bag here. We've got some transfers. Let's have a look here. So, oh, so this means smoke, I'm assuming. I think you might need to glue them onto them stands. Um, I think this would be on fire. This is kind of cool, actually. I'm quite liking this. And I'm assuming this one would be knocked out. So you've got these like little things that you can sort of do. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so straight away we've got a nice little Warlord. That resin kit. Oh, it's resin. Sorry guys, don't mean to make a photo voice. Oh, what's this inside? Then there's the... Uh... Okay, so it's a... Oh. It's got the stats on... Okay, let me zoom in a bit because it's not focusing. And then let's zoom out. Okay, so it's got the points. That's kind of cool. And like about the weapon. So that's like a nice little reference card to keep inside. It's not the full thing, which is good. So let's take a look on the inside. Let's keep things that are meant to be in the packs where they are. So straight away, here's the gun. That'll be the uh, gun for the D variant. Obviously gets longer when you use the later versions. That's obviously the... Uh... Oh no, they're like trapdoor things. I'm not sure where they go on the tank actually. Let's have a look here. Yeah, they're near the back. Okay. There is the German... Obviously a tank commander. Let 
There's something there for I think for tools or so on. Okay, sorry, let's get that head. That's the uh, commander's head. Oh, let's try and so you could sort of see him there. Okay, let's put that down. I'm gonna have to put this all back in afterwards, otherwise I know me, I might lose stuff. Uh I'm assuming that's the another sort of like a trapdoor sort of thing. Um, yeah, tank hatch. Sorry, hatch. I couldn't. I don't know why. I'm really mucking up my words today. Oh, something else has just come flying at my hands. There's little other little metal bits for uh, hatches, by the looks of it. And then there is also what well, I think is now stuck to the thing. By the looks of it, exhaust pipes, water containers, other bits that obviously would be in the tank as well. And some other little bits for the hatches. Okay, so let's just, I'm going to put this all away for a second. So, yeah, guys, so let me know in the comments down below what you know what you would actually like to see next. Um, I got a vote at the end of this as well, guys. So, you know, please vote at the end for what the next bit you would like me to do some unboxings for. Okay, so let's, um, you've got the tracks, now they're quite, they do look good, they do look, I, I don't know what it is, I really like the early war stuff, more than the late war, I don't know why, that's probably why I've got a Polish army as well, okay, so there's the, the tracks, and then there's the big body of the actual stug itself, now without all the other stuff on it, it doesn't look much, does it? Um... But it's one of those sort of things that's always fascinated me about the uh, sort of Germans and their vehicles at the early war. Okay, so let's put this away quickly. And then let's get on to the boat. Oh, let's, let's move this all to one side for a second. Okay, so my next unboxing. Would you like me to do the Royal Navy um, se uh, selection? The Waffen, oh god, there's a lot of stuff on top of it, sorry. Actually, no, I'll do this stuff over here for a second. Would you like me to do uh, the German motorcycle and sidecar? The German 2cm flak, 38. Would you like me to do the brown shirt action squadron? I have two of them, so let's move one to one side. Would you like me to do um, Osmond, Oswald Mosley? Would you also like me to do the battle group leader for them? Uh, and special stuff. Or would you like me to do the American Jeep? Willie's Jeep, as they like to refer to it as this. Would you like me to do the British Home Guard um, Smith gun? Would you like me to do the British... Blackout Bombardier. Would you like me to do the the British Northover projectile? Or would you like me to do the, again it's the uh, sort of black shirts, uh, anti-tank and support squad? Or would you like me to do the early Waffen SS? Please vote in the section down below and hey guys i hope you're all having a good day if you didn't uh, watch the video already i've done the video for uh, my winner of my competition which was the uh, you know for me making over a hundred thousand views uh, as i said I'm, I'm not going to likely to do another one anytime soon but i hope you all enjoy and i hope you all have a good day and goodbye <laughs>